C'est vrai, c'est rien de formidable Seulement des caresses et des poils Tu minotes quand je te touche Tu fais semblant d'être farouche C'est vrai que c'est bien formidable C'est des grades grades dans les poids poils Et c'est bien, c'est bien comme tout De te caresser mon minot Comment t'aimer si t'es Pacha. Dans les pelages du monde, je glisserai mes doigts. I want to do some journaling here. There's some building work going on. It's kind of nice. There's nothing extraordinary. I guess. On se les chouille, on se roule par terre. Good morning, guys. I hope you're all doing well, feeling good, happy, healthy. I love doing solo dates, you guys know that I've done these before in Paris and in London and there's a few places that I've never been to in Paris. One of them in particular, the Musée Marmotte. I'm gonna look this up before I butcher it. Musée Marmotte Monet. Mar Marmotte. Musée Marmotte Monet. It's meant to be a really beautiful museum. My friend recommended it to me because I obviously love Monet and Impressionism. So I'm gonna take myself there, having morning coffee and thinking of doing some journaling. I'm gonna think of some prompts that I'm gonna do today. I know CoStar is like a joke, but I like reading it in the mornings. I think it's kind of funny. Today, my daily reminder is to dive into your work, which I guess I'm doing. Let someone challenge you. Oh, interesting. Someone is truly interested in learning more about what makes you tick. <laughs> the positive attention that you've been putting out is returning to you. You can make it work. Do synergy, synergy, deliverables, circle back. Don't gloating, sleep deprivation and conjectures. Writing always makes me feel better. I feel good. I just had a kind of bad-ish sleep, um, stayed up late listening to sad music because if you're going to be sad, you may as well be sad in Paris, am I right? But I'm also so excited to be working with Tommy Jeans on this video. I can't wait to share with you one of my favourite stable pieces that I brought travelling with me, the Boyfriend Fit shirt. It's just such a classic white button down and I'm going to share with you how I style it for the daytime, for the evening, for every day. flatmate's room because the lighting is better and she said I could film in here. We're gonna get ready for the day. I already did my kind of everyday makeup. I brought a pretty limited wardrobe with me traveling just because I have my own backpack, you guys know. I think before I pack up for my next place, I'm gonna do a what I brought with me for five months around Europe. I think so. One of my staples has been this Tommy Jeans white button down boyfriend fit shirt. It's also made from 100% organic cotton. It's so thick that you can kind of wear it as like an overshirt, but it's also good for dressing up. I think later this evening I'm going to kind of wear it more as a dress, 
But for the daytime, I'm just gonna throw a little tank top on under and some basic denim shorts. Whenever you're traveling with a capsule wardrobe, I mean, you'll see my wardrobe isn't like really capsule, but the main tip that I would have is to stick to neutral colors. It just makes it so much easier to mix and match the pieces that you have, or if you pick something up along the way that it can be like easily integrated in. I'm gonna pack a few more things for the museum because I wanna bring my journal, my sketchbook, and also gonna make a sandwich from the baguette that I got in the lottery. I got a baguette tradition. Apparently, that is like, the one that you should order because there was like a bread I did a little history there was a bread decree in 1993 basically all had to be prepared kneaded in-house and you're not allowed to use any additives nothing can be frozen and it can only be made from like the four core ingredients of flour, yeast, water and salt honestly I think that's why people who are slightly intolerant to gluten can easily eat bread in Europe and especially here because everything is so like freshly made and there's like no there's nothing added to it. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Look how good that is. If you guys are vegan or just really like tofu, this is genuinely one of the best things I've ever tried. It's like a marinated tomato olivey tofu. I used to live in Ranla in Dublin, so it feels kind of nostalgic and kind of cool that I'm sitting in Ranla Gardens in Paris. There was a minor inconvenience, I got on the wrong train, the wrong RER. I didn't realize how complicated it was. It's not even complicated, I just didn't check. I just jumped on the first one that I saw. I've been so excited to go here. This is one of the museums in Paris that I've never, ever been to. And it has the largest collection of Impressionist paintings in the world, I think. And that's because Monet's son and only heir, Michel Monet, donated all of his collection, his father's works, to the museum. I'm reading Wikipedia. But there was apparently an armed robbery of uh, five paintings in 1985. Not five paintings, nine paintings were stolen. They took Impression Sunrise, which is one of the most important paintings in the museum. I actually think it's not here, it's like on loan until the end of July. I mean, I'm not super mad about that. Sad. 
here guys. Anna's here. <laughs> Say hi Anna. Hi. <laughs> I'm no longer having a solo date, but we are gonna go out for dinner and some drinks around Walmart. I think the sun's already setting, but it'll be nice to see the city all lit up. Hair, a little greasy, so I think we're gonna do a slick, a slick back look. I'm just wetting my hair a little bit to make it easier. Um, this is not a hair tutorial, I'm on my gel. I really like this one because it's made with olive oil. The next day, my hair is kind of like silky and smooth after it and it brushes out quite easily rather than like having to fully wash your hair after it. <laughs> Mine is not slick at all. Mine's giving like my giving it, like two weeks without sleeping with, without a scarf. But looks good. Are you happy to be in Paris? I'm very happy to be in Paris. No, we have to do the TikTok. We. Oh, I would be. Everyone's been talking about that to me, and I'm like, I have no idea what that TikTok. We. As if I knew a TikTok thing before <laughs> you. I just finished getting ready. It's already dark out. Civi play. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, honey. This is a fit for the eve. I've just buttoned up the shirt. Kind of wearing it as a dress um, with my black boots because we're going to want more. It's going to be hilly. So these are super comfy. And underneath, I just wear the shorts because it's hot. And yeah. I can't speak today. Like every day. I feel like a. Are you happy to be in Paris? I'm very happy. No, you have to say we. Oh. <laughs> but I am very happy. I'm happier than earlier because I feel like I was letting my hay fever get me down. My whole face feels like it's going to fall off, but you know what? I'm pouring through. Pouring. And I feel way better. And I'm only wearing like two of Moya's things today. And you look so good doing it. Ale! 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 It's 10pm already. 